and Charles here, USA Today best-selling author of the Deadwood Mystery Series. Today I'm in the brothel Deadwood, reading my book, Meanwhile Back in Deadwood, which has some scenes take place right here in the brothel. Now somewhere around here is Sam Lucky, but this is a brothel, so who knows where he's really laid up. At the top of the stairs, he set me down, unlocked the door, and pushed it open. After you. Once inside, he kicked the door closed behind us. The click of the lock echoed in the long, empty room. A coppery glow from one of the back alley street lights poured through curtain-free windows across the wood plank floors. At the other end of the room, I could see a neon vacancy sign from a hotel just down Main Street through one of the three tall windows. The plaster walls were water-stained in spots and zigzag with cracks. What is this place? I asked. Part of the old Badlands brothel. They separated this section off a couple years ago when they remodeled the purple door. Before that, the upstairs rooms were connected so that the girls could move from one building to the next. Aren't the brothels supposed to be haunted? Some of the sections are, but the ghost stays mainly at the other end for some reason. I've yet to sense her down this way. Have you been up here a few times? He nodded. I know the owner. Is he a client? I'm a fellow Deadwood history fan. So that's how you knew about the key. He lets me come up here whenever I want, so long as I lock up when I leave. He backed me into the wall next to the door. I raised an eyebrow. Do you bring your waltz partners here often, Gomez? You're the first and only, Tish. Where have you been? 